Good evening, everybody from the Philippines. Going to give you an update on our building progress. I'm not sure. I think it's two days since the last time we gave an update. Uh, they finished putting down all the steel deck for the concrete floor, or sorry, concrete roof to go on top of. They laid down all the rebar and tie wired all that fast. They finished up the forms on the outside edge for the what they call the lead, which is just a uh, cement overhang. What else did they do? Put up tarps there so they could stay a little cooler and out of the sun. <laughs> did the same down below on the cement mixer so they're ready to start mixing. We got deliveries of seven cubic of sand and three cubic of stone. So far, we're going to deliver another another seven cubic of stone once they start mixing. We got two pulleys set up here on this pole. We're pulling up the sacks of, or the sorry, the buckets of concrete. Once they mix it, they still have to do a little bit of forming here on the edge where I'm standing. Yeah, they ain't forming it. And I think they're waiting on me for the form for the lead. And some of that rebar out there is going to be cut off because I don't want to extend it out as far as they have it. But that's minor. So, just a nice, beautiful night to be up here. A nice breeze going. Except for when you're standing behind this tarp. And then it gets a little warm because the tarp's blocking all the wind. <laughs> but I can't wait to the bohoss this, this roof deck up here. So we can come up here and sit at night time for the breeze. That's a beautiful sunset. Huh? Uh, it's a terrible sunset compared to normal. <laughs> Whenever we want to film something, it's a terrible sunset. If, if, if I'm lazy and don't want to do anything, it's the most beautiful sunset in the world. But today, it's a terrible cloudy sunset. And all the boats are going out now to start catching the fish for the night. Yes. I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but there's probably 40, 45 boats out there getting ready to go out to catch their fish for the night. They caught some fish last night and brought a bunch for my wife to eat. I uh, forget the name of it. Tugnos. Tugnos. It's a little baby fish smaller than a mini. Yeah, it's I so tiny. It's, it's un unreal how tiny it is. <laughs> I think it's a food for the big fish. Yeah, I think the, uh, was it the humpback whale or something eats them? Yeah, that's So, supposedly when these come in at full moon, the, I think it's the humpback whales will also come in this area here. They've seen them late at night. Not all the time, but occasionally. So, I think it'd be cool to go out there and be able to see them one night. But right now we're always too busy to do anything. This building business takes a lot of time and energy. And so does this little kicking guy over here. He takes a lot of time and energy too, so. Hello, Grayson. Smile, Grayson, smile. Smile, little gummer. <laughs> Come on, gummy gray. Uh, he won't smile when you want him to. So, we'll walk over here to the edge. Carefully. So they formed up the edge there or the lead so they can pour concrete and ran all the extended every rebar out through there. The orange plastic pipe that's down there, I don't know the reason for that, I want to ask, but I don't know if it's just decorative or if it has a reason for it. I am assuming it's decorative once you pull the forms off that there's something there to make it look a little different. We they extended up the pipes for our upstairs bathroom here. The one we put up a Kubo hut. So we got the toilet, shower, and sink area. This is not in the plan at all. No, that was not in the plan. That's something we added. Nothing we've done was ready for it. Yeah. So once we come back from the US, we may do something with that or we may do another year from the Let's see if we have a, a budget for that one. Yeah. Can't wait till they get this done. 
They already got the rebars extended underneath the, the house roof. Because when we come back to the U.S., see that carpet is just whipping around like crazy. When we come back from the U.S., our plan is to tear off the house roof and do the exact same thing with a rooftop terrace concrete. That way we never have to worry about the roof blowing off. But that'll be a big project to undertake there. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking we'll do that in two halves. So we can take all of our crap and put it in half the house while we do half. And then when we're done with the first half, we can move everything over to what's finished to do the second half. And plus, I'll have to buy more steel scaffolding probably when we do that. And when we do that, we'll be taking out our tile floor because it's uh, a polished tile floor and the dogs are always slipping on that tile floor in there. And I'm afraid somebody's going to break a hip or hurt themselves. So we want to take out that polished tile and put something in that they can get a little traction on. You don't think about, about that when you're putting down a floor if you don't have dogs. But And also, we keep getting up for, uh, quotes on windows and doors, and they're going from bad to worse. The quotes keep going higher and higher and higher, so <laughs> I'm not sure what's going on. Uh, the last quote we got was 300 and some thousand yeah. for one sliding door, uh, two standard size windows, and two midget windows. So I don't understand it. Um, it's crazy numbers. The last time it's 440 now. Oh, 440, sorry. So now it's 440,000. Like I say, it keeps going up. So, the numbers are crazy. I don't know what to do. Maybe we won't put in any windows or doors. Maybe we'll just have a hollow block and that's it. <laughs> Boxed in. Because like I say, we have a lot more windows to put in. So, it would, it would, now we'd be probably close to 3 million if we would go with the company, that, the last company, so. So that's our update for now. We'll continue this in a day when they get ready. The electrician should be here tomorrow to run all his stuff on here. And then the uh, following day, we'll do the bow hoss or a port of concrete slab for our roof deck. I can't wait, so then we can put a bench up here and sit down. Mm -hmm. So that's it for now.